What were you talking about, Chad? Well, um, Chad and I were just discussing a big surprise he's got brewing for you. Really? I love surprises. Well, then you're just gonna have to be patient and wait until Christmas. Okay. I guess I can wait till then. <laughs> um, do you two mind if I join you? We'd love to, wouldn't we, Sugar Bear? Sure, Dad. I'll help Chad get the coffee. You know what, Liz? I am so glad we ran into you. I just really can't believe how Whitney blew that match the other morning. Oh, I know. But, T.C., I'm not sure how I can help. Well, maybe you can't, but I, I see how well you get along with my little girls, and you just might be the ticket. I'm lost. Any chance you're spending some time with my daughters? Maybe be a mentor to them. Well, T.C., I am very flattered by that, but I'm not so sure. What am I saying? I would be delighted to spend as much time as I can with your daughters. Hello? Hello, Eve. Hey, sweetheart, what a pleasant surprise. Well, you know, I, I couldn't help but overhear you talking to Liz about... Having her keep an eye on the girls? Well, who better? I mean, she's already met Whitney and Simone, and they seem to trust her. And you know how kids these days don't want to confide in their parents. Really? Huh, I guess some kids, but I've never noticed that to be a problem with our girls. Well, sweetheart, I have, and Whitney hasn't been herself lately. Oh, T.C., just because of the tennis match. Honey, it's not just that. I mean, lately, Whitney used to always be at home reading and studying, and I can't even get ten minutes with her after dinner. And I think something's up. And Liz might be able to find out what it is. Honey, I mean, you're just dragging Liz into a... Liz, listen, if, if we're asking too much, just say so, okay? But to be perfectly honest with you, I kind of feel like you're... You're like family in a way, you know what I mean? T.C., that is so thoughtful of you. And you know what? I feel the same way. Well, hey, then it's settled. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Daddy. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Thanks, Sugar Bear. Thank you. We were just talking about you and your sister. I wonder where she was the night before that big match. She says that she was out walking, but... I wonder if there is a boy involved. Do either one of you know where your sister was that night? Well... I can't say that I do, Coach Russell. No, I didn't think so. I just thought I would ask. Yes, excuse me. I need to go make a phone call, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, sweetheart, you see what I mean? I mean, something is definitely going on with our daughter. You know, maybe Liz can find out what it is and we can help her. No, I'm Whitney's mother, TC, and if there's anything bothering her, I can get to the bottom of it. Well, sweetheart, I'm sure you want to, but neither one of us is doing a great job. See why we have to drag Liz into private family matters. Sweetheart, I'm not dragging her into anything. I'm just asking her to look out for our girls, that's all. I mean, be like a big sister to them. I mean, I'm really, really concerned about Whitney. And Simone, she's got a lot on her plate. I mean, with her new boyfriend and all, and I would just feel better if there was someone that we trusted and that we knew. Sweetheart, is there a reason why you don't like Liz? No. No, of course well, not. Baby, then give her a chance. I'm sure that we'll both be pleasantly surprised. Sweetheart, hold on. Right back. Hey, baby, I'm back. Do you see, I am not comfortable with Liz playing this big sister role with our daughters. I mean, even if she were going to be around for a while, it might be a different story, but... Liz is leaving Harmony? She never told me. Well, she has told me directly, but I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? She only came here to see Antonio and Sheridan. So I'm sure that she'll just stay through their wedding and, and then she'll have to go back to her little island. And I, I don't want the girls getting a 
attached to somebody that's only going to be in town for a little while. Eve, is that your real problem with Liz? Or is there something else going on that I don't know about? Sweetheart, I get the feeling that you're anxious for Liz to leave Harmony. <laughs> okay, honey. Um, we have just recently met Liz. And you have invited her into our home and into our family as if she is a trusted relative. Sweetheart, I know she's not a family member in a formal sense, but, I mean, the first time I met this lady, I got a really good vibe about her. I mean, I really feel connected to her. It's... Maybe it's because she understands me. She understands the girls, you. I mean, don't you think so? I don't know. Well, honey, the girls have told me how they felt about her. They seem to trust her. They seem to like her. And I think that she'll be a wonderful influence on the girls while she's here. You know, if you ask me, I hope she stays here forever. Maybe I will. Or maybe I'll just stay long enough to repay Eve for all the pain and suffering she put me through all those years ago.